We're in the Wired to Fish Man Cave today and we're going to rig an Express X19. We're going to put Hummingbird Helix units in it, we're going to put a trolling motor on the front, and we're going to hang talons off the back of this boat today. One of the neat things about getting ready to prepare your own boat is you know exactly how it's rigged. Got Clay Connor from Express Boats as well to kind of supervise. What we're doing right now is we're marking this trolling motor. Two things you have to look at when you're putting a trolling motor on is number one, you get it secure, but number two, to be able to keep the head so it's inside the boat. A lot of guys will run their trolling motor and they'll have the head of the trolling motor outside the boat. Problem with that is a dock post or something where you're backing your boat off the trailer or whatever, you'll hit that dock post. So what we want to do is make sure that the head is kept inside the boat when we put the trolling motor on. Okay, now what we've got is we've got everything tightened down and what we're trying to do is make sure this baby's snug and it is. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the lift assist cylinder on and uh, it's a uh, Basically, you're going to pull it up and then there's a kit that you get with the, with the unit that allows us to be able to put that in and you just put your lift assist cylinder on and that allows you to be able to lift and lower your trolling motor without having it fall and, and bang or make it real hard to pull up. This is probably one of the most important things you do here because it's real easy. Once it sets in place, there's notches and they're basically triangular shaped notches. There's one right there, one right there. They match up with the head. So when we set this on here, we're going to set that in those notches and it'll be nice and square and that's what the best part of it it locks really good but it's just a little bit cumbersome putting them in there now see bear here's the easiest part when you got it like here you can see your your uh, top one goes in the top slot and it slides down and the bottom one goes in the bottom slot done that's all there is to it now I'll just hold it bear okay. till we get it down and i'll put this allen screw in the top of it just slide her down far enough that we can get the allen screw in it and the allen screw goes in the top Tall person with No, worry. that's right. I don't ever have to worry about that. All right. You're ready to roll. Trolling motor is ready to roll. One final tip is that really neat thing to do, and I've done it on every trolling motor I've ever had, is just put a little white lithium grease here in these two notches. What it does, it just allows it to, the, the pins that hold the trolling motor down to slide in and hold, but it allows them to slide a little bit better. And all it is, just a little bit of lithium grease. That's all it is, and it just allows that to slide. And there's one other trick I'm gonna show you. Take some uh, the, of the latch part of some Velcro, lay it right here on both sides. We'll do that before we're done. Keeps the noise down in the trolling motor. So it's just a neat little deal. It's just a little trick that I like to do. All I do is just put a piece, both of them the same size, right over the top of where that hole sets. And I'll show you what it does here in a minute. It really quiets the trolling motor from the flex side to side. This, these two little pieces of this Velcro, all it does is keep that flex and it just keeps the noise down. A little bit of lithium grease and doing this is a key to making your trolling motor a lot more quiet. What we're doing right now is we're putting a bump buster on and most generally somebody will put them on the inside and that's okay if you want to do that. But what I always believe is you want everything out from underneath you as you possibly can. So your rods and stuff usually will set on the deck here. And if we put it on the outside to where the bump buster is actually sitting on the gunnel, you won't have to worry about, you won't have to worry about the uh, rod that's the bump buster actually getting in the way of your rods and that kind of stuff. So it just saves you a little bit of a step. The neat thing about Minn Kota is they have this so you can do it on either side. It's, it works out really well because you can put it on either side equally well and uh, then you can just put it on the outside. The neat thing also about this extreme coat that Express has is it's tough as iron and so when you put it on there it's got a little plastic cup that sets on the bottom of it so it won't hurt the extreme coat at all but it'll keep it out from underneath your rods and keep it out of the way of your rods. One of the things I like to do is I like to keep everything as neat and clean as I can you know it's just like we do with the trolling motor putting the bump 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 buster on the outside. What I like to do is not have wires or unsightly things that's going to get hung up in your rods and reels and that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do, we've got a recessed foot pedal here. We've also got a tool holder. And typically what would happen is that wire would run out over the top of the deck and then it would run the power. What we're going to do is we're going to cut a one inch hole, use a grommet, be able to run the, the wire through that and actually hook up to your power source in the back of this plate and it will have no wires on the deck. And that's really just something, a little extra stuff I like to do when I'm rigging a boat, but it keeps it clean and tidy. What we did is we, we ran a fish tape from the front to the back. There's actually a small access behind this plate and we just ran a fish tape up, then got a pull string and now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this cord back. He's already got power up here so the neat thing about this is it's already set up for, for 24 volts. So we'll be able to just hook this in with a couple of connectors which are already on the, on the unit itself 
take as minimal time and have power to the trolling motor. It's going to be a really slick way to do it. And basically what we're doing is just going to pull this cord back through. We've got a rubber grommet we're going to put around it. We'll stuff the rest of it back in the hole there. And nice clean deal. I mean, you look at it, that, that looks a lot cleaner than having cable running across the top of your deck. The other thing is rods, reels, that kind of stuff is in the way, plus you trip over it. So now what we're going to do is on the back of this unit, you've got a bus connector here where you've got power coming from the back. This looks like it's good six or eight gauge wire. And all we're going to do is hook power to this, positive to negative, and he should have trolling motor power. We're hooked up. This could possibly be the easiest install of a trolling motor I've ever been associated with. Because <laughs> you got more hands. Yeah.